Hello everyone. So welcome to this uh, live class session. Uh, <laughs> I know I mean it's been uh, some time uh, you know I couldn't upload my videos, but uh, but I, I feel uh, this particular tutorial going to help you a lot. Uh, and the reason being, uh, especially for 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 those people who just keep painting and uh, they see the improvement are not coming in the way uh, they want. So this particular session uh, will really help, going to help you. So I'm just going to start and uh, let the people join. So. I'll I'll be just keep keep going and uh, if you'll have any questions you can you can ask those questions to me at the end of the video. Uh, so why I'm just saying uh, this particular tutorial is very helpful for you. The reason I wanted to 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 give you an information about uh, why your watercolor is not improving even after you know your dedicately spending time your 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 you're spending a quality time with watercolor but things are not coming out so let's understand those aspect uh, before that i just want to say uh, you know if you have not subscribed my channel please go ahead and uh, subscribe it so you will be getting a uh, a lot of uh, you know new videos uh, the notifications will will inform you whenever i upload any new video or even when i go online right so please go ahead and subscribe this now come back come back to the actual subject uh, you know why a lot of people are struggling with watercolor the reason there is a two aspect uh, let me just draw a line okay this is the one and another one is this i hope uh, things are visible okay now whenever we paint any painting right so whenever you go ahead and uh, start uh, making an art like take an example of uh, you know uh, this one so you wanted to uh, for the sake of uh, you know the one subject so i'm just using a one you wanted to make one tree, right? And this is your your tree you wanted to make, okay? And uh, when you go ahead to create, to fill the color, so what happens is, let me just uh, pull the color. So what you do is, a uh, lot of people are basically, especially the beginners are, the the biggest mistake what they are doing is they are moment they start making painting they are not painting for themselves you want it you start painting for someone else you mean if you got what i'm saying i'm saying that the moment you are saying you train your mind saying that hey look i'm going to make a painting and this has to look really good and you start giving all your effort right so i'm just i'm just making this tree and when you are doing this you are very much conscious your conscious mind is so much of alert that i should do this particular task in a in a such a way that it uh, should it should not give any unpleasant feeling. You will be always, uh, always looking for the perfection in your art. And that's where you will just keep going. I'm just making the simple thing like, you know, uh, this is how basically every people are doing, right? So let's say this is the, the tree you made okay you you made this tree and uh, you made this tree now your expectation is that uh, whatever you have made you you have just 
clearly told your mind that it should look good. It should not have uh, even a, a single place to look dull or it should not bring any, you know, any sort of, uh, uh, you know, unpleasantness across the painting. And that desirability, your, your desirability to make things interesting, make things uh, very beautiful, brings the unpleasantness, basically. So what I mean to say is, uh, this is not you. You are painting for someone else to impress. So when you are doing this, you are really not, you, you just remove that expectation. And uh, the moment you remove those expectations that it should look really good, and uh, what would the people say if it doesn't look good, then it's not you. You are painting for someone else to impress. And that is something like an external, you know, the pleasure you are, you are looking at. The external pleasure. You are not, you are not gone too deep and try to understand the value you wanted to bring within yourself. So this is really important, right? So when you're doing this, at the moment you start doing this, and if any sort of, you know, uh, the problem comes with, uh, with your painting, you start feeling, oh my God, my paintings are not coming the way I want. It looks so ugly. What the people will say, people will look, look at this, people will laugh at it. These kind of the questions comes in your mind every time when you, when you paint. So this is the, the biggest, I would say, I'll just take this red color and I say, this is not the way you should approach your watercolor. This is not the way. Now the question is, how should I approach? Okay, so let's go ahead and make the another tree. Now, the, the, the important part here is, now when you are going to make a, another sketch, okay, this is the tree. Now here, what I'm requesting you, what I'm telling all the people who want to learn watercolor, the moment you've drawn this, okay, the moment you start any painting, the very first thing what you need to say to yourself is, look, I'm going to enjoy this painting and it is not my external pleasure. This is my internal pleasure. I'm going to have the internal pleasure while making this painting. And this is me, this is for me. This is whatever I am doing it. This is absolutely, it's my expression. It's my art of expression. And that's exactly, you know, the approach you should have. Now, the moment you start, you know, doing this, you are, you are actually relieving yourself from those anxieties, those, those sort of, uh, you know, uh, the feeling that what the people will say and you will be st still doing the same thing there, but your mind will be absolutely free from any barrier saying your paintings are actually not good. So what happened is the moment when you start thinking it, your ability to pick the color will be absolutely, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I, I don't know how far you are understanding this, but uh, what I'm saying is you are, just, you are just giving a wing to your creative desire. You are just saying, you know, I'm going to have a dream with these tree, whatever I'm painting. I'm just going to enjoy the process, this beautiful thing what I'm making from within and that time you will see that your 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 ability to pick the color the contrast the this everything about this becomes so natural 
it becomes so absolutely natural and and you start feeling the joy of making art you start making mistake you are you you see within yourself that you are feeling like uh, you are absolutely floating <laughs> you are absolutely floating because this is you this is what basically you wanted to paint and it is whatever you're making it's it's all coming from from you whether it is a right good bad ugly whatever it is but the thing is like this is absolutely you have made it for yourself this is not for anyone okay and the moment you you'll start bringing those ability you'll see that transformation you'll see like uh, the the looseness in your painting you will see the value you wanted to bring into your art becoming more and more matured and that is something everybody wants everybody wanted to have their own piece of satisfaction right so and satisfaction is not about to satisfy someone else the satisfaction is from your within right and and this is how you should approach your watercolor. <laughs> uh, I I I don't know uh, if I'm making sense, uh, but this works for me. Uh, this is how I've been doing, and this is how it it really w works. And you you're absolutely free. You do whatever you you like. Nobody is stopping you, right? But the moment you start saying that, okay, I need to make, becoming actually, you know, becoming more and more conscious about your all the activities here. So this is important. <laughs> this is important. So keep that in mind when you, when you paint. Just, uh, just be free, just be calm and, uh, and do whatever. Do a lot of mistakes, something like this. Pick the color, put it there. And important thing is enjoy the every every bit of it, every bit of uh, your 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 art expression, whatever you're making, and be happy with that. Whether if even if it is an, it is a not uh, looking good, that's okay. I mean, you'll see like on how transformations happen, uh, you know, over the time when you when you adopt this kind of uh, you know the behavior into your 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 watercolor journey so yeah <laughs> this is uh, uh, what i wanted to uh, you know present uh, i hope uh, you got what i what i tried to say and uh, and believe me if you are going to uh, have uh, the similar approach to your watercolor journey you will you will realize and how valuable uh, these these uh, you know uh, these points are so yeah uh, so if you want to check my website just go ahead and check my website i will i will give the link uh, you'll get a lot more information about uh, about the watercolor and my classes and all that so that will be really uh, you know the further help for you so thank you so much everyone and uh, if you have any question i can take it up now So if you have any questions, you can just uh, write it down so I can, I can answer any of your question.
<laughs> so one of the question is uh, uh, now the simplest things are impossible for me to paint uh, as if uh, I lost the technical skill. <laughs> Uh, well, there is no technical skill. There is a you're, you're not you're not building you're not creating the software. <laughs> uh, there is no uh, there is no uh, technical as such. Uh, what you, what you really need to do is though you have uh, lost the connection, you just need to find fifteen minutes of your time, just of fifteen minutes of your time, and uh, just see like on how you can how you can spend those time doing anything like not necessarily that you need to paint something you know you need to make an uh, art you know complete painting just see like you know uh, if you can just just say hello to your to your brush and your your all the art materials <laughs> do some doodling just pick some brush something like this okay just take some uh, something and uh, and just just do something like this you know even doing something like this will really help you to understand the various parameter of water coloring. Even doing simply doing, if you if you are just doing like this, that will be also an, a really an amazing thing to spending time. The whole thing is to just spending time with watercolor, just ten minutes on fifteen minutes, and do this, and just you you'll just find <laughs> how how you are gradually falling falling in love with watercolor so hope this is helpful uh, talk to us about quality of paper and paints uh, <laughs> uh, the quality of papers and paint uh, see of course uh, uh, there are several uh, the papers there are cold press there's there is a uh, you know uh, the various GSM paper and all that. A lot of people are asking about the pap the quality of the papers and all. But I always say that no matter what paper you are using, uh, I'm using paper which is I would say it's a, <laughs> it's not a good good quality paper. <laughs> uh, it's all about the skill, developing the skill. Talk about the skill. Talk about uh, the improving your way of creating art. These art materials is not going to help you to improve your skill anyway. Okay, it's just a medium. Let it be just a medium. Uh, don't just spend so much of time wasting your time uh, talking about the papers and all that. Uh, for the practice purpose, you can just see like uh, what is the uh, the least uh, you know the cost of uh, the each of your art material because doing something like this you really don't you really don't need uh, uh, something like a you know, very expensive colors and papers and something like that you really need uh, something which is uh, most affordable because you need to you need to spoil a lot of colors and a lot of papers doing such kind of work so my preference is to look for uh, whichever is the you know uh, which is uh, which doesn't cost you bomb <laughs> basically uh, yeah, until unless say, you are a millionaire and you really want to spend so much of uh, money into it, uh, that's that's uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, you can go ahead and you can do that. That's not a, that's not the thing. But uh, yeah. All right. So guys, if you don't have any question, uh, I can. I can close this and uh, and I want to say thank you so much everyone again uh, being with me and uh, I will be coming with a new video very soon so this is just my, just to say hi to you all guys uh, to bring some of the you know the common practice uh, which will help you to help you to you know make your watercolor dream come true right so thank you so much everyone i will be coming with a new video very soon take care and enjoy your day